everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. We were here, we deemed level 25 last time around, and we traveled down here to the Lowbanks estate to see if they have any um, new skills for us to learn. And I'm just sitting here looking at an angle I've never noticed before, and... That is, that's a stuffed chicken head on the wall. That is just very weird. Alright. Need to look around myself more often. That is very strange. Alright, so here we were talking to the lovely Miss Lobanks. And she actually has no new do? trainable skills for us here at level 25. Our next one will be at 26. However, what she does have is this big gold ring above her head, and we have a level 25 mission for us to go on. A secret club. Could I take a moment <clears throat> of your time? Narlo, hello. I have received a message for you from a fellow expert treasure hunter. A request for your services. We must always stick together, for ours is a profession that others are prone to resent. Jealousy, I say. It is a secret and exclusive club, Narlo, this brotherhood of expert treasure hunters, and we must encourage and lend aid to our own. Travel to Oatbarton, the hobbit village on the very northern border of the Shire, almost in Evendown, and speak to Ponto. So we need to go to Oak Barton and speak to Ponto Oats. And our rewards will be Burglar's Friend, which is quite nice. And the one-handed club skill. Awesome. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to accept that. We're going to leave, <sighs> regrettably, Miss Lovanks behind. Well, that took a good deal while longer than usual. I definitely need to check my uh, memory and all and see what's taking up so much space. I know the hard drive is good. It's been recently cleaned off, so there's plenty of space to record this stuff. We're going to pull up the map here right quick. We're right inside a Bree, just outside the Lowbanks Estate, down here at the Mudgate, as you see. Let's zoom out a level, get to Bree land proper. We're going to show you where we're going to go, which is going to be here in Bree. We're going to travel far to the west, over here to the Shire. Once arriving at the Shire, we're going to travel north. Y'all remember Brockenboring? Y'all remember the green fields here? This is where we were over long, long ago. We found the supposed tooth of uh, Golfimble here in a rabbit hole. We had to go up here into Golfimble's hole to, uh, to go up into the caves and fight. But where we're going to head is this road straight up through the green fields up here to Evendim. Right on the northern border, southern edge of Evendim, northern border of the Shire, there's the town of Oak Barton. And that is where we are going to be heading this time. So we're going to mount up, head up north. Let's get on the actual horse first. going to head up to the northern part of Bree, probably grab the stable there for a quick ride over to the Shire, and we will join you up once we hit Brocken Borings and head on our little trip northward to Oak Barton, because I don't think we've actually covered that trip yet. I'm also going to check while I'm over there, see if the Yule Festival is going on. There, if it is, there should be a Yule Fest um, horse and Stable Master over at the Michael Delving Stable Master. Yeah, we're definitely having some memory issues because it's taking forever for NPCs to load in. The Stable Master and his horses should obviously be right here. And we haven't even loaded in the mailbox over there yet. So I'm going to pop out right quick, see what's going on, and we will see you in Brockenborings. Okay, here we are in Brockenborings, right in the heart of the city. Right over there is the watch office. Right over here is generally where all the crafting people hang out. 
just off to the north of us is where the local skirmish camp is. And just up this way is the path that leads to the north across the green fields and past the um, carved statue there of Bull Roarer Took. Right as he's about to hit Coffin Bull's head with his club and send it flying across the field and into a rabbit hole. So we are going to travel out across the green fields here. It has been quite a while since we were out this way. We were a much lower level. Back then we had to worry about the bears, we had to worry about the wolves, but as you see they are pretty much all gray to us now. In fact I'll bet that the goblins over there in Golfumble's Hole are probably great to us as well. But that's going to change here shortly as we will be traveling to the very northern edge of the Shire. Ah, to be back in the Shire where everything smells like hobbits. By which I mean everything smells like Doritos. And by which I mean everything smells like feet. At the very northern edge of the green fields here, we are going to go through this passage. I believe it's called Bull Roarer's Throat is the pass, I believe. It should be popping up here in just a moment. There we go. Bull Roarer's Throat. Just on the other side, you will see the highest leveled area in the Shire. This is Oak Barton. And we are looking for Ponto Oats. Let's go ahead and grab the Stable Master do? here. Wow, 12 silver just to travel back to Brocken Borings. Things get expensive up this way. And there's Ponto right there. see just as a just as a might I speak with you a moment yep, level 30 and that is the lowest quest showing up on our thing none of the other quests even show up they're so much higher than we are so we've got a little ways to go before we can actually do the adventure area here uh, let's see what Ponto has to say to us, since this is our level 25 burglar quest. Just a moment. Welcome, Narlo, my fellow expert treasure hunter. Ours is a secret club, and we permit only the most skilled to practice our art. At any rate, the unskilled do not seem to last very long. I have assumed the name Ponto Oats for the duration of my stay here in Oat Barton. For it is a name that draws no attention to itself. Where I walk, the shadows hide me and leave no memory of my passage. That's the sort of thing you need to learn, Narlo. But enough about that, because there is work to be done. The village of Dwelling is a short distance from here, and it has been occupied by ruffians. They are led by someone called the Chief, and many strong men serve him. One in particular, the Chief's main enforcer, is a hulking brute wielding a deadly club. He chased many of the inhabitants of Dwelling from their homes when the brigands arrived. We will do something about this brute friend, Narlo. Speak to me when you are ready to hear my plan. Alright, I am familiar with my character Glenorin from the town of Dwelling. It is definitely, it was the furthest northern edge of the Shire, the furthest northern s settlement until the bandits came along, the brigands came along and basically took it over. And it is a sad, sad sight now. I have long felt that the brotherhood of expert treasure hunters owes a debt to the community, and each member should encourage those of less skill. We will travel together to Dwelling, Narlo, and you will relieve the chief's enforcer of the club he wields in battle. Perhaps you will learn something in the process. So we are going to travel now to Dwelling with Mr. Ponto Oates on our little solo quest to do 
see if we can travel a little further along in the process of the expert treasure hunter. Something evil is afoot in the Shire. Brigands in the employ of someone calling himself the Chief have overrun the town of Dwelling. Ponto Oates intends to give the Chief's enforcer in Dwelling second thoughts about trifling with the Shire folk. There you go. You see as you see. Sad, sad condition of dwelling down here. All the hobbit holes have been occupied, all the hobbits have been kicked out, and men have moved into them. Let's talk to Ponto. What do you need? The village of dwelling is just down the slope, Narlo, and it is full of brigands. One of the chief's men wields a deadly club. Without this weapon, I warrant he would not be a match for even a single hobbit. Some of the brigands remain on guard, but many of the villains are sleeping by the fires near Perlina Gamgee's house. Sneak up to those sleeping. Their leader's club is likely on the ground by his resting place. Seize the club and return to me, Narlo, but do not engage in battle. If you are seen by even one of the chief's men, our task ends in failure. So we are to find the chief's club. Actually, let me pop out of this for a second. Hmm, I wonder if I can put that on. I bet it's got a 30 minute cooldown. I'm gonna check here just a second. That's the issue with some of these clothing that gain benefits is that when you put them on, the cooldown is sitting so that you cannot just take them off, put them on, take them off, put them on. And as you see, we've got a five minute cooldown on that. Hmm. Do we have any other items that we could use? There was wanting to say a pocket item that we had a mark or something I'm gonna take a look right quick out of combat regen tome I'm gonna take a look right quick and I'll be right back and I did find it right here three tomes of continuing swiftness so we are gonna go ahead and use one of those tomes that gives us an hour of plus five percent so that would be good enough rather than waiting for uh, four or five minutes for the cloak to come on. As I said, they do that so you can't just take it off and put it back on and get the benefits of it. So let us continue on down the hill here, see if we can find the club. And once again, we have to avoid detection. So there's some chief slackies there. Let's go down through this part of the village see whether or not yeah, let's look at the, these poor hobbit holes the state of horrible disrepair that these accursed ruffians have left everything in everything is broken and shattered whoops as a lackey once again we are to avoid detection we definitely don't want to get detected by them especially since they're all red Hopefully, we can find them sleeping here somewhere. There we go. There's a ruffian's club right over there. We can scooch in between these guys. Let's stay well away from all the lackeys. Hmm. This is going to be difficult worried about if I... let's target this guy. Don't I have a skill that will... when in stealth you can deter an enemy's attention away from you for a short time and it will not break stealth. Now let me see. We're gonna divert his attention away. See if we can grab this club. Then get away from him and cloak back up. see if we can get back up to Ponto without any of the rest of the people seeing us. Very good. Back up the hill to Ponto now. Yeah, 
It's good that I remember that. I'm assuming that's what the whole point of this exercise is, is to teach you to use skills like that, like the diversion. Because if we had broken stealth there and come out without diverting that guy's attention, we tried to pick up the club, we would have come to, he would have woke up, and I'm sure he would have found us. Is there something I can do for you? You did it, Narlo. We'll make an expert treasure hunter out of you yet. You must give me details of the recovery while we return to Oak Barton. Let us be off, friend Narlo. I look forward to the tale of your deeds this night. Back to Oak Barton it is. Now we need to talk to Ponto again. Um, where is he? He's back around this way. Strange that it didn't pop us up right next to him. But no matter, we know where to find him. Hello. You did passably well, Narla. You didn't demonstrate a great deal of flair, but I suppose you got the job done. You can keep the club if you like. What? You don't know how to use such a club? How could you not know how to wield such a useful weapon? I have never heard of such a thing. Here, I will instruct you in its use. It's the least I can do for a fellow expert treasure hunter, especially after you've done such a service for dwelling. So we will get one-handed club skill, and we will get the burglar's friend. There we go. So now, let us see what wish wish to replace with that. Um, Rigul's Bane and Golang. Plus six wheel, we're gonna get plus eight agility, plus eight might, we'll keep the seven fate. Yep, let's replace the sword. Oh, there we are. So now we can use one-handed clubs, use the one-handed maces, and we were gonna replace our sword. There we go. Excellent. Alright. I said I don't believe we can you do any of the actual quests here in the town. And though we do have a new Deed log, footpad, so we need to use diversion successfully 500 times to get footpad. So <laughs> we're going to have to start using our diversion skills. All right. So now it's back down the road to the Shire. Actually, we are going to probably head back over to um, Trestle Bridge. So we've got a ways to go. We're going to head back to the Shire, hit Michael Delving, take a ride over to Bree, and then go back up to Trestle Bridge. So we will meet you there.